Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Oh god. No rest for the The beast must die. My question is how did Blood Cauldron not kill him? Oh, you're dead too now. Owie, stop that. Whoa! Oi! Alrighty. Then this one? No. And there's this one here. And there's one more guy. I know I kill one more guy. Oh well. Alright. Nearly out of White Chapel. Ah, Shiza. Over there! Burn it! Look, you need to stop. I'm trying to avoid you. Take the win. Do not cough in public. It's bad and people will kill you. Yeah, he's not a real person. There she is. Hello. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scowl. Yes. And I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scowl, I brought him here. Jonathan. How could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent. For there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan.
I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. Hmm. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. Take my advice and stay well away. Okay. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. Alright, now off to East End, I guess. I still feel like there was a fast travel that I discovered. Ah, okay. Doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, jeez. You need to stop that. That was interesting. Oh, come on. Just trying to get to East End, love. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get into your craziness. 
Just trying to get to the east end. Ah, crap. Yeah, there isn't much that I can do. Well, I mean, I could try dropping off. But I don't see much use in it. It's locked. Shiza. Boom. Dive. That was kind of funny that he didn't notice that a whole big fight going on and nobody noticed. I cannot enter. Who? What? Quarantine by a, because of influenza. Surprisingly, I'm not too worried about it because I'm already dead. Uh-huh. You better watch out for them, T. Enjoy. Okay, everybody okay now? Everybody good? Good. I don't want to kill you, but you give me no choice. Uh 
Okay. So if I go... If I just go straight forward, I'll get to it. But I don't want to go straight forward because there's Pruins over there and I'd rather just not. Can we just, you know, not? Because I'd rather just, you know, traipse around London. Looks like I found a diversion. Ha! We're close. All right, and I just open the safe as well. Cuz you know why not? Hey, he's not a Pruin. This is an important distinction. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. You, you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So, tell me about your gang. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Huh. Boy, I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. Huh. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier. I can respect that. Okay, buddy. Goodbye. Hmm. Conversation Reed. time. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? Yeah, do you? Yeah? Saint. I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Hmm. 
Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Trade. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Bullet, shotgun shells. Got all kinds of crap, but I don't know what I want anyway, so we're going to go away. Mark my words, miss. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. Are you now? You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Teeth, claws, murders by night? Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, milady. Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Don't mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the turquoise turtle then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Okay. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? No. Nope. What do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton. Throgmorton. Vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Oh, really? Well, I know what oh. you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist. And they're close. Well, you're right about Mr. that. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find him. Sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there, they have plenty of reasons to hide. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Mm. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. Mm. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. Mm. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. <laughs> what kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Do you need help? 
What? What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage mm, people to stay yes, unusual. People are careless. Do you need help? Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye, Goodbye buddy. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. I'll probably eat you later. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Not anymore. Evil something. The important thing is I find him quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where... But vampire doctors so are. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Okay. And off we go. Okay. So I gotta go to the end of the pier, basically. Okay. So we'll turn left. Draw the Royal Fleet. Uh, how about not? That seems like a lot of messing around with crap during the day, and I can't really do that right now. With the whole v being a vampire thing and all that. Seems like the guard of Prewen is on Sean Hampton's trail, too. Boys. 
I can hit you a range too. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Burn it boys. You leeches be killing. Crush the leech boys. All right, all right, all right. You'll be dead. Hey guys, I'm Alex. Uh, you know, the guy from the videos. So, uh, I, I just wanted to thank you for watching the video all the way through. You know, it, it, it's a lot of work. I, I, I appreciate it. Um, so, you know, thank you for your, uh, your view, maybe your subscription. So, you can subscribe right in the bottom corner there. Uh, then... You can then you'll be updated. Make sure to ring that notification bell, guys. You know subscriptions seem to mean nothing on YouTube anymore. But hey, uh, so then over here you'll see a video that you might like since you watched this video all the way through. Uh, other than that, have a great day. I hope that you watch more. I'd love to see you again. We do stream. So keep an eye out for that. Announcements will be on the channel, my Twitter, all that stuff. All the information is on the overlay. Other than that, enjoy. Enjoy your stay on 6th Street.